Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel and today in this video, we are going to solve a problem which is around the usability of the application. So right now on the screen, I'm not able to clearly understand how many open issues and how many closed issues are there. I need to literally need to first of all count here. So one, two, three, four, five, five open issues. Go to the close tab, see that we have three closed issues. But this is not a scalable solution because when we, I have paginations, then it will become even more difficult. So the question is, how do we solve it? Well, I have the solution and what I would like to do is show you what we have done. So if you see right now, I have this number after my tab, which denotes the number of issues that the individual tab has. And this is what we are going to achieve in this video using a complete test driven development. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So the first thing that I would do is to open up my test. And what I'm going to expect is that it gives me the state count. In here, I'll first create a project. So I'll just steal this code. My factories are set. So this becomes pretty easy. Okay, I have created a project and then I'll also steal this part. <clears throat> okay, now first I will create three issues which are of type open because this is my default factory state and then I'll create two closed issues. Now what we will do is we will act and assert. So the first thing is I get the instance of my service. I open up my service and in here I will have a method which will give me the data. So the method will be get issues state count. I can just pass the project because that's the only where condition that I will have. Now in here, what I will do is return issue query. I'll select the state and I'll do db raw count as count. Yes, that's uh, not star, but I'll count the state. I'll group by the state again and then I'll do a get and that is being returned so I will what does get return it returns a builder and a collection so I'll do builder eloquent database um, let me see what is that uh, hold on get will return an eloquent builder is what I understand. Yep. So builder, eloquent builder or collection. Again, the eloquent one. And then in here, what I can test is my data is going to be server, not get issue list, but rather get state count. I can pass this project in here. And now expect that my data is an instance of collection. Okay, let's just first assert that. Let's see. Yep, it is passing, it should. And then what I would also assert is um, something went wrong, sorry. And my data where state is issue state blah, 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 opened value do first come that should be equal to three. 
let me run that and it is green I will make it 2 and it should fail because yes it was expecting um, 2 where is the actual is 3 because we have created 3 issues which are of type open and what is happening over here is so I because I'm getting a collection I can run this where condition on that particular collection and then I get the first result and I get the count property because I have only two properties in there the state and the count okay um, if you're not sure what I'll do is just maybe to make things a little easy I'll just run this so that you can see that when it comes to an array uh, I have state and I have count and the state has the closed or the open and the count is obviously the count so this is how I'm able to do this and the next one is pretty straightforward I do a 2 and this has to be closed so with that in place I have my basic code ready now we have our service we have our test the only thing that I will now do is go to my controller in here so this is fine issue state count equals I have my service you know, injected so I'll do issue service uh, state count project I'm getting as uh, a parameter so with that I'll do with Okay, and now comes the blade index.blade.php of issue. In here, I'll have only two small changes uh, inside my blade issue count, where state is opened, and I'll get the first like we did inside our test, and I'll do a count else zero so if it is null then I'll do zero uh, let me refresh yes I just need a bracket how does it look perfect and now I'll just copy this paste it over here and do closed and we are done so this is exactly what I wanted to show you in this video. Using test driven development, I was able to quickly get this count into place. Yes, it's an additional query, but you know, from a UI perspective, it is very important to get that information. So I decided to do that. Let me know what you think about this application and the series so far. I would be very happy to know your feedback on this series. But yeah, that's about it guys. That's what I wanted to cover in this video. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.